Hi, it's Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot, bringing you another LED Grow Light unboxing, review, and par test. This review is of the new HLG 550 V2 Eco Full Spectrum LED Grow Light by Horticulture Lighting Group, released late December 2019. The Eco is going to come discreetly shipped and double boxed in two plain brown boxes. All right, let's get this out. All right, there it is. Wrapped in plastic, comes with a set of ratchet hangers and some wire hangers. Let's take this out of the wrapping. All right, check it out, nice and shiny. Notice how the diodes are part of the heat sink. It's just one big board. On the back is the driver, which is actually the heaviest part of this unit. But overall, the fixture is pretty light. It's really thin. Let's get this plugged in. All right, there's the 3000 Kelvin diodes. Notice that there's no added 660 or any other diodes in there. It's just plain 3000K white. Also comes in 4000K. All right, let's review it. The HLG 550 V2 Eco is a hobby grade LED grow light designed to be used in home grows and replaces a 1000 watt single ended HID grow light. Think of this light as the HLG 550 V2 light. I'll explain the difference between the Eco and the regular 550 V2 in a couple minutes. The Eco measures 24 inches by 20 inches by 2 inches and weighs around 17 pounds. The diodes are integrated into the heat sink, making this fixture one large thick PCB similar to the HLG 65 or HLG 100. This implies that you can't detach the diodes from the heat sink. Compare this to the HLG 550 V2 R spec and B spec, where the quantum boards are separate components from the heat sink. A meanwhile HLG 480H C2100A driver sits on top of the PCB and powers the LED arrays. The Eco is rated for 100 volts to 277 volts AC. The 550 Eco Lab Report lists a wattage draw of 456 watts at the wall and 1.92 amps at 240 volts. When I measured the fixture's wattage draw at the wall at 120 volts, I measured a reading of 492 watts with an amperage of 4.24 amps at full power. When the potentiometer was turned all the way down, I received a wattage reading of 181 watts at 1.61 amps. The plug is available in 120 volts and 240 volt US. If you use this light in countries that do not use a NEMA 515 plug or 615 plug, you can use a plug adapter. The Eco is not ETL certified for commercial grow operations that require a UL or ETL certification. However, this requirement may vary by state. There's a one-year manufacturer's warranty on the 550 Eco. HLG manufactures and assembles this PCB in the United States. The Spectrum is made up of 1,152 highly efficient, market-leading Samsung LM301B diodes. When purchasing this light, you can either select a 3,000 Kelvin Spectrum, which is recommended for full cycle or flower, or a 4,000 Kelvin Spectrum for vegetative growth. The Spectrum is fixed, so you're not able to alter the Spectrum after your purchase. However, you can dim the LEDs up to 50% for different plant sizes or growth stages. The diodes will last about 50,000 hours or more. Expect at least 1,138 micromoles per second of light with an efficacy of 2.5 micromoles per joule from the 550 Eco at full power. The vegetative footprint for this light is a 6x6 six six area. The hanging distance for veg is 24 to 36 inches. Or you might consider hanging it closer and dimming down the light to 50% intensity. The flower footprint is a 4x4 area at around 18 to 24 inches. This is the best distance for the highest intensity while maximizing uniformity. Any closer you may risk burning your plants. Now I'm going to show you how to dim this unit. As with all HLG 550s, I'm going to take out the rubber stopper, use a little screwdriver like a Phillips number one, put it in the screw and just rotate it. Got to be gentle with this so I don't break the screw. You can see it's going down to around 50% intensity. It's nice and simple. Once you're done, just put the rubber stopper back in. Now, how does the Eco compare to the other HLG 550 V2 grow lights? Let's see. Light output. According to the independent lab report, the Eco exudes 1,138 micromoles per second of light. HLG says that they can soon get this number up to about 1,200 ppf. In comparison, the R-Spec, HLG's full cycle or flowering lamp, 
exudes 1,257 micromoles per second of light, and the B-Spec HLG's Veg Spectrum Lamp, 1,175 micromoles per second of light. Overall, at this time of the review, the Eco puts out about 10% less light compared to the R-Spec and about 3% less light compared to the B-Spec. Efficiency. The Eco has an efficacy of 2.5 micromoles per joule, while the R-Spec comes in at around 2.65 micromoles per joule and the B-Spec at 2.55 micromoles per joule. In sum, the Eco is about 5-6% to less efficient than the R-Spec. Spectrum. The Eco uses either a 3000 Kelvin or 4000 Kelvin spectrum, while the R-Spec and B-Spec are enhanced with either 660 nanometer deep red or 470 nanometer blue, respectively. ETL listing. The Eco is not ETL listed for commercial grows, while the R-Spec and B-Spec have this certification. Application. The Eco can be used for full cycle or flower when using the 3000 Kelvin spectrum. The 4000 Kelvin spectrum is recommended for veg or for increasing flower quality. In comparison, the R-Spec is meant for full cycle or flower and the B-Spec for veg only. Warranty. One of the biggest differences is the one year warranty on the Eco. The R-Spec and B-Spec both have three year warranties. Power. All HLG 550 V2s use around 480 watts at the wall and are dimmable. HLG took readings of the HLG 550 V2 Eco in a 4x4 tent at 22 inches and in open space at 18 inches and 24 inches. You can see those readings here. Note the higher average power readings in a tent versus the readings in open air. Okay, let's view my power readings in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent. The first reading is going to be at 36 inches above the bottom of the tent. At 36 inches, we're hitting right around 640 ppfd. I'm just moving this to the back to check out the power readings there. Looks like it drops out down to around 545 into the corner, about 475. So pretty good uniformity at this height. I'd recommend this height for veg. Also, you can move the light closer for veg and dim it down to 50%, um, 75%, somewhere around there. I'm just gonna move this around so you can see the uniformity. Looks like it doesn't really dip below 500, so really good veg readings at this height. All right, and the next reading. The next reading is gonna be at 24 inches above the bottom of the tent, hitting right around 1050 ppfd. So this is an optimal flowering height. And to the back, it's like about 640. And this corner reading about 500 ppfd so uniformity is you know quite a bit less here but we're hitting higher intensity in the middle of the tent and also near the middle of the tent but corners and edges are going to be a little bit lower than um you know at a higher distance of say 36 inches so just checking out the uniformity at this height and you know it's not bad it's pretty good intensity is good enough for flowering um, I'd recommend flowering at 24 inches. However, you can even drop it down to 22 inches, which is our next reading. 22 inches, we're hitting right around, looks like just below 1200 ppfd. And to the back, looks like just below 700 and right around 500. So this is gonna give you better intensity in the center maybe a little bit less uniformity. So right around 22, 24 inches is ideal. I wouldn't go much closer than this unless you really wanna reduce your uniformity, uh, but increase your intensity in the center of the footprint. What are my overall thoughts on the 550 Eco? Well, HLG is not leveling up the 550 line with this fixture. This is the economy version of the 550 V2 and opens the doors to growers who are looking for good performance at a low cost. It puts out about 10% less light than the regular V2, but is about 25% less expensive. The efficiency difference is negligible. The spectrum is a little different without the added red diodes or blue diodes that the R-Spec and B-Spec have. Do added mono wavelength diodes make a difference in growth and yield? Perhaps, but I haven't seen the hard data to back it up. And the warranty on this light is two years less than the regular 550 V2. 
Those are the main differences that home growers would be concerned about. If you're price sensitive and want a good quality LED grow light designed and assembled by a U.S. company and need to cover a 4x4 area for full cycle or flower or a 6x6 area for veg, then this LED is right for you. If you want to spend a little bit more and get a fixture with added red or blue, more light output, slightly higher efficacy, a longer warranty, and ETL certification is important to you or required for your grow, I suggest the regular HLG 550 V2 R spec or B spec. As for the downsides of this fixture, well, if some diodes go out, the entire fixture would need to be replaced. You can't just remove a single section of LEDs like you can do on the HLG kits or standard 550 V2. But I can't really think of any other downsides considering the price of this fixture. If it was more expensive, I might expect more out of it. The positives of this light include the low price, high efficiency, good light output, dimmability, and choice between what spectrum you need. And finally, the price on the 550 V2 Eco. This fixture costs 649 US dollars with free shipping in the lower 48 states and no additional tax. It can also ship worldwide. Check out the links in the description to learn more about this product, view other HLG grow lights, or to purchase the latest and greatest LED grow lights on the market. And smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to be notified for more videos like this reviewing the top LED grow lights. And follow us on Instagram too at LED Grow Lights Depot for giveaways and other great content. Link below. Till next time, enjoy.